All right. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Let's start with the topic. Let's begin with the topic. Aaj, aaj objective, inshallah, we are going to solve uh, the past repercussions of uh, logarithmic and exponential equations. Uh, in the last class, we have uh, completely understood uh, the concepts of logarithms. We uh, have basically understood how to solve exponential equations. Exponential equations have two types. Logarithmic equations have three laws of logarithms. And uh, if the equation is, an, is a logarithmic equation, then we need to ensure that if we are getting multiple answers, then we have to verify the answers by substituting in the original equation and reject any answers that causes the logarithm to be undefined. So whenever we are attempting a pass over question, we always need to see whether the, whether the question that we are facing is an exponential equation or a logarithmic equation. So my question is that if we are looking at this equation, is it a logarithmic exponential equation? Something that has a power, something that has a variable in the power logarithmic equation that involves logarithms. So if we talk about question number one, is it an exponential equation or a logarithmic equation? Everyone needs to participate, right? Yes. It is a logarithmic equation. Perfect. So, example number one. Question number one is an exponent. No, it's not a logarithmic equation. It's an exponential equation. Sorry. Logarithmic nahi hai na ye. There's no logs involved. If, look. In exponential equations, we use logs at times at the in the end to find the variable x. But initially, this equation is not a logarithmic equation. Solving an exponential equation and taking help of logarithm is a different thing. And an equation being a logarithmic equation is a different thing. Ek equation ka logarithmic ka matlab is logs involved ho. Log with a certain base, LG ho, LN ho. If there is LG, there is LN. That is a separate story. Log in the power, there is no log in the power, there is there, there is variable in the power. Whenever there is a power, whenever there is a variable in the power, such equations is known as exponential equations. So this is not a logarithmic equation, this is an exponential equation. So the first thing is, log hoga na jab log, log hoga base log likha hoga. log with the base of 5, log with the base of 10 is LG, log with the base of E is LN, then that equation will be, will be a logarithmic equation. But over here, it's not a logarithmic equation. It's an exponential equation. So, first thing is identification. This is an exponential equation. Now, exponential equation has two types. One type in, in which the terms are being multiplied and divided. And one in which the terms are being added and subtracted. So, over here we can see that the, the terms are being added and subtracted. Because if we see there is a positive sign in the middle. One term... One base with a power of x plus 2, another with a power of x, another with a power of 2, and there's addition subtraction involved. Even if we are going to shift all, uh, even if we are going to shift the two terms on the right towards the left, then there will be subtraction involved. So when there's addition subtraction, it's type number 2 of exponential equations. Type number 1, multiplication division. Make the basis same, use laws of logarithm, equate the powers. Type number two, addition subtraction involved. Use appropriate substitution. You have to use appropriate substitution. All right. So what can be the appropriate substitution? The first thing is we have to split the power. So if there is 3 to the power of x plus 2, we can split it. 3 power x multiplied by 
थ्री पावर टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री पावर एक्स प्लस थ्री पावर टू नाउ लेट थ्री पावर एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए तो थ्री स्क्वायर इज नाइन वी नो दैट थ्री पावर एक्स प्लस टू कैन बी स्प्लिट टू थ्री पावर एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री पावर टू If it's a positive sign, then multiplication. If it's x minus two, then three power x divided by three power two. But over here it's positive, so it's being multiplied. Three power x is a. Three square is nine, so it's nine a. Nine a equals to a plus nine. So this is nine a minus a is eight a. Eight a equals nine, and then a is equals to nine over eight. But the original va variable is not. The original variable is not a. The original variable is x. So if the original variable is x, we have to find the value of x. So we have got three power x equals a. So three power x is equals to nine over eight. Now exponential equation type number two. Simplified to a simplest exponential equation of the form a power x equals to b. I have told you general form, but the exponential equation of type number two, using appropriate substitution, we simplified it to its its general form. Three power x equals nine upon eight. Now, if we are going to solve it, we have two methods. Remember, method one and method two. Method one is conversion from index form to logarithmic form. Method number one was taking lg or lg or ln on both the sides. So lg three power x equals lg nine over eight. Then as per the power law, it becomes x lg three equals lg nine over eight. Then x is equals to Lg nine upon eight divided by Lg three. So, Lg in the calculator means log. So, log of nine upon eight divided by Lg Lg nine over eight divided by Lg three. But calculator may there is no Lg, there is log. So, if you are going to divide, we are going to get an answer zero point one zero seven two one. फाइव एसिड में वर्किंग करते हैं फाइनल आंसर हम थ्री एसिड में देते हैं विच इज जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो सेवन वाई डू वी डू इन फाइव वाई डू वी डू वर्किंग इन फाइव एस एफ सो दैट इफ दैट पर्टिकुलर आंसर इज यूज इन पार्ट नंबर टू वी कैन यू डोंट हैव टू रीकेलकुलेट बट ओवर हियर इट्स नॉट एसेंशियल टू राइट दिस वी कुड हैव डायरेक्टली रिटर्न जीरो पॉइंट वन जीरो सेवन एज वेल बिकॉज वी नो दैट दिस इज ओनली A single question. There, there has no subsequent parts. There are no, not any more parts involved. So that is why writing five S F version is not essential. But, but just to ensure that we are habitual of writing five S F first and then three S F. I am writing five S F first and then three S F. And the second method is converting from index form to log form. So three is the base. Nine over eight is the answer. The so log of nine over eight. Log of answer with a base of three equals to power which is x. So this is just a one step. Now just enter this in your calculator, and you will get zero point one zero seven. So ये एक exponential equation था, exponential equation था type two का जिसमें addition subtraction involved हो रही थी. So we used appropriate substitution. लेकिन जब substitution लेते हैं तो we need to ensure that we need to use it again. मतलब Once, once we have found a, we cannot just say that this is our answer. We have to use the substitution once again as well. And then we saw that three power x equals nine over eight is is the simplest form of a exponent of an exponential equation, which can be solved using two methods, both of which have been explained in detail. Screenshot be lele. Take a screenshot and acknowledge if you are clear or not.
let moving on towards the next question question number two solve the equation 2 power x plus 1 upon 2 power x minus 1 equals 5 giving your answer correct to three significant figures now again what kind of an equation is this is this an ex exponential equation or a logarithmic equation the first thing is identification yes participation very good. This is an exponential equation. Perfect. The exponential equation, which type is it? Is it type 1 or type 2? 2 power x plus 1 is equals to 5 times 2 power x minus 5. Is it type 1 or type 2? Yes, type 2. Why? Because there is addition subtraction being involved. The, the terms are not multiplied or divided. There is addition subtraction involved. So that is why this is type number 2 of exponential equation. Very good. Now, type 2, use appropriate substitution. Let 2 power x equals a this is a plus 1 is equals to 5 times a minus 5. So 5a minus a is 4a. 4a equals 6. a equals 6 over 4 which is 1.5 or 3 over 2. Once we have found a, then we need to find x. So 2 power x is equals to a which is 1.5. Now the simplest form is log of answer that is 1.5 with a base of 2 equals to power which is x. We will get the answer of x directly from here. Just put it in your calculators. And yes, the answer is 0 0.58496 which is rounded off to 0 0.585. The final answer in three significant figure is 0 0.585. So again, this is a four mark question that we have done. Take a screenshot and acknowledge if you are clear with it or not. All right, great. Moving on towards the question number three. Solve the equation ln 1 plus x square is equals to 1 plus 2 ln x, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. Now, this, which kind of an equation is this? Is this a logarithmic equation or an exponential equation? Very good. Now, this is a logarithmic equation. Why? Because logs is being involved. So, whenever we talk about an exponential equation, we talk about two types. Whenever we talk about a logarithmic equation, we talk about the three laws of logarithm. As far as I remember, exactly this question we have explanation in the explanation. Yes, this is the example. We have already solved this. As it is, ln 1 plus x squared is equal to 1 plus 2 ln x. So this is an example we have covered already. The answer is 0 0.763. We have already covered this in examples. Uh, and we have got two answers. Sorry, we have uh, understood it, it using method 1, method 2. And then we have got 0 0.763 as our final answer. And this is from question number 3. So, question number three, already covered in notes. Refer your notes. Say it, Jana. Okay. So, question three is also done. Palisi kar liya tha. Question number four, dekh lete. Question four. 
the polynomial fx is defined by fx is equal to 12x cube plus 25x square minus 4x minus 12. It is a seven mark question. Saad number ka question hai ye. Say it. Show that f minus 2 equals 0 and factorize fx completely. Now, this is a polynomial question. This is a polynomial question, right? But why have I compiled it with logs? Because the part 2 of it cannot be solved without application of logarithm. That is why it is not compiled in that topic. Within it, This is not within polynomials. It is within logs topic because the part 2 of it will be solved using logarithms. So what do we do? Yes, Aliyah. What can we do? Part number 1, if we have to answer the answer, Show that f minus 2 is 0 and factor f fx completely. What do we do in polynomial? What steps? Which steps do we have to do? Mike, tell us. First, we need to substitute um, minus 2 into x. Okay, and, and now when... It's equal to 0. Okay, and when now it's... We have to show, right? When we have to show, then we have to substitute negative 2 and we need to show the examiner that the answer will be a 2. So at time, the student just write f minus 2 equals 0. But when it is written, it's a show. So we have to show the working as well. We have to show the working in detail. So let's substitute negative 2. 12 times negative 2 whole cube. When show comes, you have to show it right. You have to show in detail. 25 times minus negative 2 whole square. Minus 4 times minus 2, minus 12. If you are going to calculate, minus 8 times 12 is minus 96. Nahin, minus 8 times 12 is minus 96. Yes, say it. Then minus 2 square is 4. 4, 25 times is 100. Minus 4 times minus 2 is plus 8. And then it's minus 12. So minus 96 plus 100 plus 8 minus 12. Now we can say that minus 96 plus 100 is 4. 4 plus 8 is 12. We can say 12 minus 12, but we can also write 0. Hence shown. Now when we have simplified and we have shown the working, now we can say that yes, hence shown. So we have to show proper working. This step as well as this step. Sufficient working needs to be shown. So whenever the question says show that, we have to be very clear and uh, we have to do detailed working for sure. Factorize fx completely. Yes, Ali. How can we factorize fx completely? So, sir, we know that um, 2 is a factor. So we need to divide it by x plus 2 then. Look, minus 2 is a root. So the factor will be x plus 2. Yes, x plus 2 is a factor. Okay. If x plus 2 is a factor, then what we need to do? So we need to divide the equation by x plus 2. Okay. So which method can we use to divide? Um, so long division. Okay. We can use long division. We can use synthetic. We can use comparing. But if the factor, if we have a linear factor, uh, then synthetic division is very fast. So we can use any of the methods. There's no issues. If you're comfortable with long, you can follow, go with long as well. But it, let's suppose if I am following synthetic, then it's x cube coefficient first, then x squared, then x power 1, then x power 0. So 12, 25, negative 4, and negative 12. And outside we are going to write negative 2. 12 first time will be forwarded, will come down. Minus 2 times 12 is negative 24. 25 minus 24 is 1. Minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. Minus 4 minus 2 is minus 6. Minus 6 times minus 2 is 12. And minus 12 plus 12 is 0. So now the original div our dividend was cubic. Divisor was linear. The question is going to be quadratic. So now here we are going to write. We need to factorize, right? So fx 
equals x plus 2 is one of the factors. Another factor is 12 x square plus x minus 6. Now we have a quadratic factor in front of us, right? If we are going to multiply the first term with the last term, it's 6 times 12 is negative 72 x square. So do we have any factors that gives us the middle term? I mean to say, can factorization work over here? Can middle term breaking work over here? The answer is a yes. We can factorize. So the smart working is rather than factorizing over here and writing x plus 2 again and again, factorize it towards the right, uh, add, factorize it on the right hand side. This is 12x squared. 6 twelves, 6 twelves are 72. 9 eight is 72. So this is plus 9x minus 8x minus 6. 3x taken as common. 4x plus 3. Then minus 2 take, taken as common. 4x plus 3. Then 4x plus 3 taken as common. And we get 3x minus 2. So we were told to factorize. We were not told to we were not told to solve. If we were told to solve, we we would have given the values of x. But we are not told to solve. We are told to factorize. One of the factors is x plus 2. Another factor is 4x plus 3. And then another factor is 3x minus 2. So altogether there are three factors. So fx is equals to x plus 2 into 4x plus 3 into 3x minus 2. So this is the answer of factorization. x plus 2, 4x plus 3, 3x minus 2. Right? So part number 1 is, is completely based on polynomials. It has nothing to do with the logs. But if we try attempting part number 2, given that, 12 times 27 power y plus 25 times 9 power y minus 4 times 3 power y minus 12 is equals to 0. State the value of 3 power y and hence find y correct to 3 significant figures. We have to state the value of 3 power y. So always remember, state or write down are the keywords which tells you that you don't have to you you don't have to do long calculations. You have to write something directly. See something and write it down. So state and write down is a one mark question. And for that you don't have to do any long calculations. You just have to give the answer to it directly. So state the value of 3 power y. State the value of 3 power y. And hence find y correct to 3 significant figures. So what we need to do? We need to compare this equation. We need to compare this equation with this equation to state the value of 3 power y. So if we are going to compare both of them and then we have to give the state the value of 3 power y what which value of 3 power y can we give? Should be the positive root. Okay. Since base is positive. Yes, definitely. Base also has to be positive and the root will also be positive. Firstly, we compare. Now just check out. Minus 12 at both the places. Over here it's 4x, over here it's 4 times 3 power y. So in place of x, we are we, we are seeing 3 power y. Then over here it's x square. Over here it's 9 power y. So 3x square is basically 3 power y whole squared. 3y whole square means 3 square whole power y as well. 3 power y whole square ke hello, 3 power 2 whole power y ke hello. It's same. So 9 power y. 
तो नाइन पावर वाई इज एक्स स्क्वायर सिमिलरली तो एक्स यहां से मुझे पता चल गया कि एक्स की जगह पे थ्री पावर वाई लिखा हुआ है इन प्लेस ऑफ एक्स वी हैव सीन थ्री पावर वाई सो एक्स इक्वल थ्री पावर वाई राइट इट डाउन एस पर आर ऑब्जर्वेशन एक्स इज थ्री पावर वाई देन एक्स स्क्वायर जस्ट यूज इट एक्स स्क्वायर इज थ्री वाई होल स्क्वायर थ्री पावर टू वाई थ्री पावर टू इज नाइन सो इट बिकम्स नाइन पावर वाई सो यस In place of x square, it's nine power y. So it's a confirm. It's a confirmation for us. Yes, x is three power y. Then x cube. If we cube both the sides, then three power three y equals x cube. Three power three is twenty seven. Twenty seven power y is equals to x cube. So we see that yes, in place of x cube, we can see twenty seven power y. So now that we know, now that we know that x is three power y. we write it down over here in part number 2 x is equals to 3 power y this means and now we have to state the value of 3 power y right and this is an equation this was an expression in part number 1 we we were given an expression in part number 2 we are given an equation so equation means we have to give the roots and fact expression means we have to find the factors so for this equation we have found the factors x plus 2 4x plus 3 3x minus 2 so had it been equals to 0 the roots would have been negative 2 negative 3 over 4 and 2 over 3 So whatever the answers were of x in part number one, had it been an equation, the answers of x would have been negative two, negative three upon four, and two over three. So now in place of x, we have seen three power y. So three power y will take same answers. Three power y equals two over three. Three power y equals negative three over four. Three power y equals negative two. And we know that if the base is positive, no matter which what power we apply, even if the power is a negative power. Then also we get a positive answer only. So the answer can never be negative. If the base is positive, the answer is going to be positive only. So the value of x, this is negative. So don't take this. This is negative. Don't take this. The answer of x is two over three, and x is three power y. So three power y will equals two over three. So the answer is three power y is equals to two over three. And then if you are going to find the value of y. Again, we have two methods: take LG ln on both the sides, or convert from log form to index form. So, log of two over three with a base of three is equal to y. Log of two over three with a base of three is equal to y. From here, we are going to get the answer. यहाँ से हमारा y का आंसर आ जाएगा. Third, right, उठाएँ, pick up your calculators and write it down. So it's minus zero point three six nine, correct to three significant figures. Yes, so it's minus negative zero point three six nine. So again, I'm repeating. Part number one was polynomials. Part number two, there is a polynomial involved, and the equation is in terms of y. So we need to find the value of y. But before we find the value of y, we need to state the value of three power y. So we just saw that the equation involving x and the equation involving y were very much closely related, and in place of x, three power y was substituted throughout the equation. Wherever there was x in the equation, in the equation of part number one, x was replaced with three power y. So we got this equation. Then we had to solve it. So we knew. The answers of x negative two, negative three upon four, and two over three. So the answer of three over y will all will always be positive. So three power y will be equal to two over three because this is the only positive answer. From here we'll get a negative root. From here we'll get a negative root. From here we'll get a positive root. So three power y is equal to positive two upon three. Once we have written it down, then stating part is done. So this was also asked by the examiner. State the value of three power y. We'll get one mark over here. then we have used a method 
to convert log form index form to log form will get a second mark first mark second mark and then third mark for the final answer so it's a three mark question i think i've completely explained this take a screenshot and acknowledge if everyone is clear with it koi confusion hai mujhe bata de So in this case, two upon three was the only positive x value. But if there were more positive x values, there would have been different values of y. Yes, definitely. If there were three x values, there would be three y values. If there were two x values, then there would be two y values. But over here, the question also says state the value. The term is value. So the question also tells us that there is only single value of three power y, which also tells us that there is only going to be one positive value of x let's suppose if someone has done an error in part number 1 and if they are getting two positive values but at the bottom it says value of 3 o power y so this will tell you that 3 power y will only have one single value else the examiner would have written values over here value was written this means only one single value will be there but yes if there would be have been state the values of 3 power y and hence find the values of y correct to 3 sf then there would have been multiple values but over here it's just one but yes there there was a possibility there could have been more than one as well yes acknowledge if it's clear to everyone okay great perfect so we have done first four questions moving on towards question number 5 and question number 6 question number 5 show that the equation log of x plus 5 with a base of 2 is equals to 5 minus log of x with a base of 2 can be written as a quadratic equation in x now what kind of an equation is this it involves log so this is in this is a logarithmic equation whenever dealing with exponential equation there are two types dealing with an with with a logarithmic equation three laws so now we have to apply the laws of logarithm how can we do that so the first part is not to solve the equation this has been splitted into two parts the examiner could have directly written solve the equation that's it solve the equation then we we would have done we would have it would have been a five mark question altogether we would have tried to solve it we would have tried to form a quadratic equation we could have uh, solved to find the value of x but over here just for our ease examiner has divided it into two separate parts first part says can be written as a quadratic equation in x second part says hence solve this equation this means if we have already converted this given equation into a form of quadratic equation then that quadratic equation will be solved to give us the values of x we don't have to rework all together again we are going to use the working of part number 1 so log of x plus 5 with a base of 2 equals 5 minus log of x with a base of 2 kya karenge ek taraf lekar aayenge sabse pehle do tarike bataye the ya to 5 ke sath hum laga lenge log of 2 with a base of 2 या फिर इसको एक तरफ लेकर आ जाएंगे दोनों चीजें कर सकते हैं तो मैंने बताया था मैं यहां करके बताता हूं लॉग ऑफ लॉग विद बेस ऑफ लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस फाइव विद बेस ऑफ टू प्लस लॉग ऑफ एक्स विद बेस ऑफ टू इज इक्वल टू फाइव फ्रॉम हियर वी कैन सी लॉग ऑफ x into x plus five with a base of two equals to five. Which law have I applied? When two logs are being added, with when two logs with same base are being added, then this means product law will be used. When addition form, there are two times the log is two times. In multiplication form, the log is just one time. 
now what we do from log form to index form we convert from log form to index form so 2 is the base 5 is the power the base will come on the right side 5 will be the power so it will become 2 to the power of 5 equals to answer which is x times x plus 5 so let's do it x times x plus 5 we can also directly multiply rather than writing this step we could have saved one step but I am not saving as of now because you people are new with solving it just to avoid any confusions so this is going to be our step x times x plus 5 is equals to 2 power 5 from conversion from log form to index form Base is 2, 5 is the power, the answer is x times x plus 5. Now expanding x squared plus 5x and 2 power 5 is 32. Minus 32 equals to 0. Then 32. Are there any factors? 2, 16 times, 3, 4, 4, 8 times. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 2 times. Random breaking is possible or not? 4, 8, 16, 32. So x squared plus 5x. x squared plus 5x minus 32 equals 0. Okay. So part number 1 was show that it can be written as a quadratic equation in x. We have shown it, right? Now we are not told to solve the equation. In part number one, we are told to show the equation can be written as a quadratic equation. We have shown. Once we have shown, we can write. Hence, shown. Hence, shown. So part number one is done. Then part number two. Hence, solve the equation. So now this equation is same as this equation. We need to match both the equations one time as well so that there is no addition. There is at times there are there a are bit of differences as well. So we need to incorporate that difference as well. But so that is why comparison is very very essential. So this is same. This is same. This is same. There 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 is no change. This is replicated exactly in part number two. Okay, what is the next step? What is the next step? Part number two, we have to solve the equation. So if you have to solve, we are going to solve this quadratic equation. So first tell me, can we do middle term breaking of this equation or not? Is, is middle term breaking possible or not? Okay, so this is non-factorizable. But it is non-factorizable but solvable. Non-factorizable but solvable. So if it's solvable, let's solve it. Using quadratic formulas. X equals minus B plus minus. x equals minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac over 2a minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon if we are going to solve it minus 5 plus minus 25 minus 4 times minus 32. It's 153 upon 2. From here we are going to get two values of x. Minus 5 plus root of 153 divided by 2 it is going to be 
सिक्स एट फोर सेवन और x इक्वल्स माइनस फाइव माइनस रूट फिफ्टी थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई टू विल गेट माइनस एट पॉइंट सिक्स एट फोर सेवन नव वी हैव गॉट मल्टीपल आंसर्स वी हैव गॉट मल्टीपल आंसर्स एंड वेन एवर वी आर सॉल्विंग लोगेमिक इक्वेजन्स एंड इफ वी आर गेटिंग मल्टीपल आंसर्स वी कैन नॉट जस्ट ब्लाइंडली एक्सेप्ट ऑल द आंसर्स बस ऐसे ही हमने ब्लाइंडली तमाम आंसर्स एक्सेप्ट नहीं करने बट वी नीड टू सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स इन द ओरिजिनल इक्वेजन एंड सी विच वन वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट एंड विच वन वी आर गोइंग टू रिजेक्ट सो दिस एक्स इज अ पॉजिटिव एक्स इफ यू आर गोइंग टू सब्सिट्यूट इन दिजनल इक्वेजन it satisfies the log logarithmic equation but if we are going to substitute this negative then whether we substitute here or we substitute here this particular thing becomes negative and for log of y with a base of a to be defined y has to be positive a the base has to be positive and the base can never be equal to 1 so because the y over here at both the places is becoming negative so that is why this negative value is going to be rejected so the only value the only answer is going to be 3.6847 so we have rejected this and the value of x is 3.68 this is going to be my final answer 3.68 so how will we differentiate that if there is an error in our calculation or the equation is non factorizable look if you are going to uh, wait let me check if uh, agar main pura equation ke order mein dalta hu to kya hota hai just give me 2 minutes look if we have good calculators right so we can input this entire equation on our calculator log of x plus 5 we have x feature as well in our calculator so log of x plus 5 with a base of 2 is equals to 5 minus log of x with a base of 2 and if i am going to solve it be it uh, latest class wise calculator or old fx 991 es plus or 570 es plus or latest class wise calculator this this equation can be solved if it's a latest calculator this equation can be solved and you are getting 3.6 at as your answer so first calculate it using normal method and then you can recheck using your calculator right so you can always recheck your answers using your calculator but the question is sir how will we see how will we identify that there is an error so the only way of identification is to use your calculator because if there was an error because if you are unable to factorize it then this doesn't mean that you have made an error because at times the students tend to do this mistake whenever they find an equation and they see that it is not being factorized then they realize oh how is it possible that it is not being factorized it should have been factorized i i have done something wrong at that point in time just recheck also this happens this is a natural feeling right this happened with me as well so when i saw that it is non factorizable i just wanted to recheck because most of the equations that we see are factorizable but when i saw this equation i saw that this is is not factorizable so i just went back to my working and verified shifting this then multiplying x and x plus 5 is x square plus 5x i said yes 2 power 5 is 32 i just rechecked it verified it just mentally calculated i said yes 2 square is 4 2 cube is 8 then 16 and then 32 so 2 power 5 is 32 i rechecked it and i said no my equation is finally the perfect version is it's perfect and uh, it's perfectly fine there's no mistakes in that 
So when you are confident with your working, with your practice that if I've done something, it's right. If you're not confident, recheck. And even after rechecking, if the equation is the same, then be confident and move forward. And if the equation is non-solvable, then in that case, sorry, non-factorizable, but solvable, then uh, try to apply the quadratic formula. We can also find uh, the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac first. If the discriminant is a perfect square, if it's a zero or if it's a perfect square, then this means that this equation is factorizable, but I am unable to factorize it because I am unable to find the factors. But if the dis discriminant is not a perfect square, if the discriminant is not a perfect square, then in that case, definitely the equation is non-factorizable. Because had it been factorizable, the discriminant will, will, be, will be a perfect square or it will be a zero or it will be a perfect square. If, it's, if the equation is non-solvable, then the discriminant will be negative. If the discriminant is positive, but it's not a perfect square, then this means the equation is non-factorizable, but yet it's solvable. So we need to use quadratic formula to find the values of x. Right? I think I've clarified it in detail. Okay, so is it clear? Great. So it's clear. Uh, oh, is it clear to everyone? Please acknowledge. Okay, great. Okay, also I wanted to tell another matter over here in part number one. I also told you, okay, rather than shifting this to left hand side, you can, in place of one, you can use log of two with a base of two. So in place of five, you can write like this. Method number two. This is method number one. So log of x plus five with a base of two is equals to five times log of 2 with a base of 2 because throughout we see that there is log with a base of 2. So with 5 as well we have written log with a base of 2 but log of 2 with a base of 2 because we know that if the base and the answers are same then the power is 1. So this log of 2 with a base of 2 equals 1. So even if we write log of 2 with a base of 2 it creates no difference. The equation is still remains the same. This log of 2 with a base of 2 will create no difference. The equation will still remain the same. But by writing this, I am now in a position to solve the equation. How? Let's see. Let's, che let's check it out. Log of x with a base of 2. Now this 5 will be shifted using power law. Log base 2, 2 power 5. 32 minus log of x with a base of 2. Now we see that there is a subtraction involved. Log twice and there is log twice in subtraction form. This means quotient law is applicable. Log of log with a base of 2. 2 power 5 is 32 divided by x. Now in this method, I also explained in the ex during the explanation that we compare log of m with a base of 2, log of n with a base of 2. Bases are same on both the sides and they are equal to each other. So m equals n. Remember in the notes we saw. So x plus 5 equals 32 over x. And then we are going to cross multiply and then we are going to get the same equation. x square plus 5x minus 32 equals to 0. This is your method number 2. So in method number 1, we shift it. We use product law. But then we have to convert from log form to index form as well. But in method number 2, in place of 5, we have written log of 2 with a base of 2 because there was a log throughout which had a base of 2 so we have taken log with a base of log of 2 with a base of 2 because we know that the the answer of log of 2 with a base of 2 is 1 so taking it will create no difference in our lives the equation will not change 
So I've taken this, but then I'll have to apply the power law and then using subtraction, I use the quotient law, but now I don't have to com convert from log form to index form. We just compare. So x plus 5 equals 32 over x. And from here, we'll get this equation and the process will continue in part number two. I think I have clarified it with another method as well. Just acknowledge if you're clear with both the methods. I'm telling all the methods initially so that you are very, very clear with what I've, I'm trying to communicate. Because then when you are going to solve, it is completely your question. So you will better judge and decide which method suits more for you, which method is more suitable for you. Every student has their own preferences, right? So if you prefer method one, go for it. If you prefer method two, go for it. Whichever method you prefer, the examiner will perfectly be fine with that. So take a screenshot and acknowledge if it's clear to everyone, method two as well. Okay. Question five is also done. Let's solve question number six as the last question. And inshallah, then I'll upload the file on the LMS. And then you'll have to solve all the questions, right? Till uh, October, November 2022. So there are a lot of questions. Inshallah, you are going to attempt the questions and then you are going to bring your queries in the next class, hopefully, inshallah. And then any problems that you have, we'll discuss them in the next class. So use logarithms to solve the equation 5 power 2x minus 1 is equal to 2 times 3 power x, giving your answer correct to 3 significant figures. Use logarithms to solve the equation, giving your answer correct to 3 significant figures. So first tell me, which kind of an equation is this? Is this an exponential equation or a logarithmic equation? Yes. This is an exponential equation, but we have to use logs at some point in time to solve this exponential equation. Also, when I was explaining in the last class, I solved such type of an equation with two methods. The first one was to apply logs directly. And the second one was to first split the power to simplify it and then apply the logs. Simplification first and then applying logarithms increases the chance of an accurate answer. Because other way, otherwise you might make a mistake. If you are comfortable with applying logs initially only, then also I'm fine with it. I can solve it using both the methods, no issues at all. But let's so use method one. 5 power 2x minus 1 means 5 power 2x divided by 5 power 1 and is equals to 2 times 3 power x. So 5 power, 5 power 2 x means 5 power 2 whole power x. It's 25 power x. 25 power x upon 5 equals 2 times 3 power x. This is just an extra step just to make sure that you people don't get, don't, don't get confused. I could have cross multiplied in this step only, but I didn't. Now you multiply 5 by 2, 3 power x comes to this side. 25 power x divided by 3 power x equals 2 times 5, which is 10. Even at this step, I could have avoided this and I could have mentally written 25 over 3 whole power x equals 10. Why? Because this is law of same index. The powers are same and the bases are being divided to so divide the bases and apply the common power. Now this is an exponential equation. Just convert index form to log form. So log of answer that is 10 with a base of 25 over 3 equals power which is x. So Just input this in your calculator and you will get the correct answer log base 25 divided by 3 of 10 and the answer is 
वन पॉइंट जीरो एट फाइव डबल नाइन एंड देन इन थ्री एस एफ इट इज गोइंग टू बी वन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन एक्स इज अप्रोक्सीमेटली इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो नाइन दिस इज मेथड नंबर वन वी फर्स्ट ट्राई टू स्प्लिट द पावर देन फाइव पावर टू एक्स बिकेम ट्वेंटी फाइव पावर एक्स then all the bases with the power of x were gathered together the, the numbers the normal numbers without any powers were multiplied law of same index applied converted from index form to log form another method was uh, used in method number 1 we have played with the powers we have simplified and then applied the logs in method number 2 in method number 2 we can apply logs directly which log lg or ln so if e is involved then taking ln is better if e is not involved we can take lg or ln both so let's take lg on both the sides so lg 5 2x minus 1 is equals to lg 2 3 power x now lg is being applied on 2 times 3 power x so this is a product product of 2 and 3 power x so lg applied on 2 times 3 lg applied on a product so product law will be applied in multiplication form log is twice uh, sorry log is once and if you are going to open it using product law it is going to be lg 2 plus LG three ta three power x. Yes, LG two plus LG three power x. And over here, as per power law, two x minus one will come at the back. Two x minus one times LG five. Then th LG three power x will become x LG three. X LG three plus LG two. now we can, we can also divide lg5 this is also possible and we can also do that we can multiply lg5 with 2x and minus 1 so 2 times lg5 2 lg5x minus lg5 then gathering the x making x the subject so if we are going to bring x lg3 to that side to the left side and if i'm going to take x as common it will become 2 lg5 minus lg3 x taken as common is equals to lg2 plus lg5 now we can add lg2 and lg5 normally or we also know that when two logs are being added the product law can be applied so lg2 plus lg5 in in addition form log is twice so 2 times 5 is 10 so again the product law will be applied we can apply it or we can not apply it doesn't make difference so i have applied it lg 10 x will become the subject lg 10 divided by 2 lg 5 minus lg 3 or we can also write lg 25 minus lg 3 it is completely our call so 2 lg 5 minus lg 3 2 lg 5 is same as lg 25 using our law now if we are going to divide then lg 10 divided by 2 lg 5 minus lg 3 from here we are going to get in three significant figures we are going to get 1.09 same answer we have got same answers using in, in, entirely two different methods dealing with simplification of this and then from index form to log form and getting an answer take ln on both sides initially only then application of certain laws right and we have used logs in method 1 as well and we have used log in method 2 as well so using logarithms to solve the equation yes we have used logs in method 1 as well 
So both the methods are fine. Taking logs initially, then applying the power law, then multiplying 2LG5, uh, 2x with LG5 and minus 1 with LG5. So 2LG5 times x minus LG5. Then making x the subject, 2LG5 minus LG3, x taken as common. LG5 shifted to that side, we got LG10. 2LG5 minus LG3 divided, or we can also call 2LG5 LG25 minus LG3, which, which can again be simplified. This can be simplified. LG25 minus LG3. Then using quotient law, we could have written it LG25 over 3 as well. So LG10 divided by LG25 upon 3. This is also possible. But no need to play uh, that much with it because we have already done a lot for 4 marks. We, it's better that we just pick up our calculators and just give the answers. So this is how it is. So I've explained both the methods in question number 6 as well. I've completely discussed all six questions. Question three was already covered in the notes. So I've not repeated that. I've just shown the working of, uh, of our notes. So question three was already covered in detail in the last class during explanation. So apart from that, all other questions have been solved using multiple methods just to give you that exposure so that if you are solving a lot of questions, you at least know which method suits you better. And accordingly, you can apply the concepts, right? So that is all from my side. I think we should end the class and I'll be uploading the questions file and inshallah, I'll be giving you a task. I've already given you the task. You have to complete all the questions. Just let me know. Is it clear to everyone or uh, are there any confusions that you are facing? Alhamdulillah, it's clear to everyone. Uh, just make sure that you attempt. Koshish kare, sare sawalat mukammal kare, say ye. Mene aap logo ko che sawal karwa diye. Ab aapne jo hai, inshallah, sawalat mukammal karne. Or inshallah, mene aapko jo exposure de diya uske baad. You will see, inshallah, you'll be able to attempt most of the questions, inshallah. Any problems you have, please have to task diya wa usko follow kare. Few people have, uh, are doing uh, previous topics as well. But now when this topic has ended and I'm giving the questions of this topic, Please do the questions of this topic first. For on a deficit, baad mein cover kare, naya kaam pehle kare. Kyunke nai problems nahi leke aayenge, to jab mein aage badunga, phir aapki prani problems aari hongi. To wo phir perfect combination nahi banta. So make sure that focus on logs first, complete its questions. Once you are done with it, then simultaneously you can do previous topics as well, right? So take care, take good care of yourself. Apne bhoat sara khayal rakhega. Agli class mein mulakat karte hain. Assalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته